Patch 14.5 for Hell Let Loose has just landed and it has a trailer which doesn't suck? What the hell? Yes, Team 17 have tried to cleanse themselves of the sin that was the now deleted trailer for Update 15. I remind you, that particular major content update has been delayed until next year. But this trailer for Patch 14.5 goes back to basics relying on a lot of the stuff which previous successful Hell Loose trailers have used, like actual gameplay showcasing content and features which will be available in this patch. These include looks at the new sub-factions, the British 8th Army and the German Africa Corps, which will have their own desert style uniforms, which will thankfully be locked only to desert maps. At the moment, this is just the day and dusk variants of El Alamein, but the devs have said they intend to release more desert maps going forward. The next big thing you'll notice from the trailer are the new weapons, which have been added for the British sub-faction. These include the Thompson M1928 submachine gun, with both the drum and stick mag variants, the SMLE bolt action rifle, which was the actual standard issue rifle for the British Army during the war, and they've added the bipod for the Bren light machine gun in both the machine gunner and automatic rifleman roles. The patch also introduced the Churchill Mark III heavy tank, which replaces the Sherman Firefly as the heavy tank on El Alamein. That move, and much of the other stuff we will see in this patch, is trying to make the content of Hell at Loose more historically accurate than it previously was. The Sherman Firefly, for example, didn't see action until very late in the war, and so it has been correctly, in my opinion, replaced with a historically accurate alternative. The devs have also removed the Panther tank for the Germans, because that was never deployed in the Desert Campaign and didn't see action until 1943 on the Eastern Front, long after the battles of El Alamein, which took place in July and October of 1942 on a completely different continent. The shift for greater historical accuracy is also reflected in the updated loadouts for the German Africa Corps sub-faction and the British 8th Army. On El Alamein, the Germans now no longer have access to the semi-automatic rifles like the FG-42 in both the automatic rifleman and sniper variants and the G-43. They also have lost access to the fully automatic STG-44, all of which were not deployed in combat until much later in the war, so it's historically accurate to remove them from this map. However, this shift is just the first phase of the change to be more historically accurate, because some historical inaccuracies still remain. For example, the British medium tank on El Alamein is still the Cromwell, but again, that particular model of tank didn't see action until 1944. The good news is that we already know that the devs are working on part 2 of the British revamp which will include more weapons and vehicles such as the historically accurate Crusader medium tank which won a popular vote on Reddit to be introduced to the game as well as the Stuart M3 light tank and the Churchill Mark VI which will be available as another heavy tank option for the British on later war maps like Drayel. The only issue I picked up from the trailer for Patch 14.5 was that it erroneously included some footage of an FG-42 being fired um, on the El Alamein map, but since that's been removed on the actual map, I'm not going to nitpick too much over that. It's been taken out, which is something I welcome. I leave you with some footage of new potential equipment, and as always, if you enjoy my content, smash that like button and subscribe for more Hell at Loose action.
where? 